Hi everyone, my name is Jeff T. M. Pepito, and in this video, I'm gonna discuss about the chapter 4 of Life and Works of Rizal entitled Scholastic Triumphs at Ateneo de Manila. It is from 1872 to 1877. Jose was sent to Manila four months after the martyrdom of Gumburza and with Doña Teodora is still in prison. He studied in the Ateneo Municipal, it is a college under the supervision of the Spanish Jesuits. Ateneo Municipal is a bitter rival of the Dominican-owned College of San Juan de Letran. It is formerly the Escuela Pia, it means charity school. It is a school for poor boys in Manila, established in 1817. In 1859, the name was changed to Ateneo Municipal by the Jesuits and later became the Ateneo de Manila. This is the picture of Ateneo de Manila. Rizal enters the Ateneo. In June 10, 1872, Jose, accompanied by Pasiano, went to Manila to take the entrance examinations on Christian doctrine, arithmetic, and reading at College of San Juan de Letran, and passed them. His father was the first one who wished him to study at Letran, but he changed his mind and decided him to send at Ateneo instead. Father Majin Fernando is the college registrar of Ateneo Municipal during that time. He refused to admit Jose because of two reasons. First, he was late for registration and second, he was sickly undersized for his age which is 11 years old. However, upon the intercession of Manuel Cerex Burgos, or the nephew of Father Burgos, Rizal was admitted at Ateneo. Jose used Rizal instead of Mercado because the name Mercado had come under suspicion of the Spanish authorities. Jose boarded in a house on Caraballo Street owned by Titay who owned Rizal family the amount of 300 pesos. Let's move on on the Jesuit system of education. Jesuit trained the character of the student by rigid discipline, humanities, and religious instructions. The students heard the mass in the morning before the beginning of the daily class. Classes were opened and closed with prayers. The students were divided into two groups. First is Roman Empire. It is consisted of internos or borders with red banners and second is Carthaginian Empire it is composed of externos or non-borders with blue banners each of these empires has its rank students fought for positions any student could challenge any of his officers in his empire to answer questions on the day's lesson First best is called Emperor, and second is Tribune, third is Decorion, fourth is Centurion, and fifth is Standard Bearer. Ateneo students' uniform is consisted of hemp fabric trousers and striped cotton coat. The coat was called Rayadillo and was adapted as the uniform for Filipino troops during the days of the first Philippine Republic. So this is the picture of the students uniform during Rizal's time. Now in Rizal's first year in Ateneo from 1872 to 1873. In June 1872 is the first day of class in Ateneo. Father Jose Beck is the first professor of Rizal. Rizal was placed at the bottom of the class 
since he was a newcomer and knows little Spanish. He was an externo and was assigned to Carthaginians. At the end of the month, he became emperor of his empire. He was the brightest pupil in the whole class. He took private lessons in Santa Isabel College and paid 3 pesos for extra Spanish lessons. He placed second at the end of the year, although all his grades were still marked excellent. Next is his summer vacation in 1873. March 1873, Rizal returned to Calamba for summer vacation. He did not enjoy his vacation because his mother was still in prison. His sister Neneng or Saturnina brought him to Tanawan to cheer him up. He also visited his mother in prison at Santa Cruz without telling his father. After vacation, he returned to Manila for his second year term in Ateneo. This time, he boarded inside at Intramuros at number 6 Magallani Street. His landlady was an old widow named Doña Pipay and who had a widow daughter and four sons. Now, in his second year in Ateneo from 1873 to 1874, Rizal lost his leadership but he repented and even studied harder and once more he became emperor. He received excellent grades in all subjects and a gold medal. Some of his classmates were new. Among them were three boys from Binyan who had been his classmates in the school of Maestro Costiniano. Next is Prophecy of Mother's Release. Doña Teodora told her son of her dream the previous night. Rizal interpreting the dream told her that she would release from prison in three months. It became true. Doña Teodora likened her son to the youthful Joseph in the Bible in his ability to interpret dreams. Next is Teenage Interest in Reading The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas was Jose Rizal's first favorite novel. He also read non-fiction like Cesar Cantus' historical work Universal History. He also read travels in the Philippines by Dr. Fyodor Jagor. In this book, he foretold that someday Spanish would lose the Philippines and that America would come to succeed here as colonizers. Now, on his third year in Ateneo from 1874 to 1875, shortly after the opening of classes, his mother was released from prison. He was happy, of course to see his mother once more, a free woman. However, Rizal did not make excellent showing in his studies. Although his grades remained excellent in all subjects, he failed to win the medal in Spanish because his spoken was not fluently sonorous. Next is his fourth year in Ateneo from 1875 to 1876. On June 16, 1875, he became interno in Ateneo. Father Francisco de Paula Sanchez inspired him to study harder and write poetry. Rizal described him as model of uprightness, earnestness, and love for the advancement of his pupils. He returned to Calamba for his summer vacation on March 1876 and proudly offered his five medals and excellent ratings to his parents. Next is his last year in Ateneo from 1876 to 1877. On June 1876 is the last year of Rizal in Ateneo. 
He is the most brilliant Athenian of his time. He was truly the pride of the Jesuits. He obtained the highest grades in all subjects. And now, in his graduation with highest honors, he got excellent scholastic records from 1872 to 1877. On March 23, 1877 was the commencement day. 16 years old Rizal received from his alma mater the degree of Bachelor of Arts with highest honors. Let's move on on his extracurricular activities. He is an emperor inside the classroom and campus leader outside. He is the secretary of the Marian congregation. He is a member of Academy of Spanish Literature and the Academy of Natural Science. He studied painting under the famous Spanish painter Agustin Saez. He studied sculpture under Romualdo de Sos, noted as Filipino sculptor. He engaged in gymnastics and fencing. Father Jose Villaclara advised him to stop communing with the muses and pay more attention to practical studies such as philosophy and natural science. Next is his sculptural works in Ateneo. He carved an image of the Virgin Mary on a piece of batikuling or a Philippine hardwood. Father Leonard requested him to carve an image of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Ateneo students placed the image on the door of dormitory and remained there for many years and this is the work of Rizal the Sacred Heart of Jesus next is the anecdotes on Rizal the Athenian Felix M. Ramos is one of Rizal contemporaries in Ateneo Manuel Serex Burgos whose house Rizal boarded shortly before he became an interno Next is poems written by Rizal in Ateneo. Mi primera inspiracion or my first inspiration is the first poem he wrote for his mother's birthday. In 1875, inspired by Father Sanchez, he wrote more poems such as Felicitacion or Felicitation. El Embarque Himno a la flota de Magallanes or the departure him to Magellan's fleet. E. S. Español El cano el primero en dar la vuela al mundo or and he is Spanish. El cano the first to circumnavigate the world. Next is El combate or bistondo terror the holo or the battle orbis tondo terror of holo in 1876 Rizal wrote poems on various topics on recuerdo a mi pueblo or in memory of my town alianza intima entre la religión y la buena educación or intimate alliance between religion and good education. Number three, por la educación recibe los tres la patria, or through education the country receives light. Number four, el cultivero y el triunfo, batalla de losina y presión de Boabdil, or the captivity and the triumph. Battle of Lucena and the Imprisonment of Boabdil. Number 5. La Entrada Triunfal de los Reyes Catolices in Granada or the Triumphal Entry of the Catholic Monarchs into Granada. A year later, 
In 1877, he wrote more poems, such as El Heroismo de Colón or The Heroism of Columbus. Second is Colón y Juan Segundo or Columbus and Juan the Second. Number three, Grand Consuelo en la Mayor Desdicha or Grand Solace in Great Misfortune. Number four, on Dialogo Alosivo a la Despedida de los Colegiales, a Farewell Dialogue of the Students. Next is Rizal's Religious Poems. Number one, Al Niño Jesus or to the child Jesus. Number two, a la Virgen Maria or to the Virgin Mary. Let's move on on dramatic work of Rizal in Ateneo. Father Sanchez, his favorite teacher, asked him to write a drama based on the prose story of St. Eustace, the martyr. On summer 1876 in Calamba, He wrote the religious drama in poetic verses. On June 2, 1876, he finished the manuscript. He submitted the finished manuscript entitled San Eustacio Martyr or Saint Eustace the Martyr. Now, on first romance of Rizal, at the age of 16, Rizal experienced his first romance. The girl was named Segunda Katigbak, a pretty 14 years old Batanginya from Lipa. She is a sister of his friend Mariano Katigbak. His sister Olympia was a close friend of Segunda in La Concordia College. This is Segunda Katigbak. It was apparent that Rizal and Segunda love each other. There was indeed love at first sight, but unfortunately, Segunda was already engaged to Manuel Luz. His first romance was ruined by his own shyness and reserve. Segunda returned to Lipa and later married Manuel Luz. Rizal remained in Calamba, a frustrated lover, cherishing nostalgic memories of his lost love and that will be all thanks for watching